Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and I have been eating a meat only carnivore diet for four years now. I am home from a trip. I've been traveling all week for work and it's Friday. I'm working today, but I snuck out for a quick Costco Sam's Club run. We're very lucky that I have Sam's and Costco right next to each other. Um, we homeschool, my husband does homeschooling with the kids. So Fridays they go to the library and then they're gonna hit up Walmart. So Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, those are pretty much the three places that we do groceries most of the time. And then the occasional other grocery store when something specific is on sale. But because we live in a big area, um, you know, we have a lot of choices as far as grocery stores go. Those are just the three that we hit up the most. Since I have been traveling all week, I am ready to eat some good home cooked meals. I feel like I've been eating the same meals on repeat. So I'm just gonna cook those this weekend. I'll show you my Friday, Saturday, Sunday meals kind of all my favorite staples right now uh, and hopefully that gives you some ideas on things that you can eat on a carnivore diet. Liquid IV is a popular electrolyte brand. However, it is high in carbs and sugar, so be aware of that one. Here's a look at my Costco haul. I got a couple tri-tips, some pork loins. We needed shredded cheese, bacon. I gotta have chicken wings. This is our first time trying these egg witch sandwiches, so we'll see if the kids like it. Eggs, blueberries, celery, pickles, and some ground beef round out everything I got at Costco. Next, I stopped over at Sam's Club. They have had these trays of shrimp that have been $5 off for a while, so I look for the cheaper ones with the peel, and I always grab that. Some flanken ribs were $5 off, egg life wraps, Chris texted me while I was out wanting some steaks, so I got him some New York strip. This flat meat, my shrimp, rounds out my Sam's Club haul. Our new outdoor cooking toy is the griddle that I got from Sam's Club. This is their really big one because it comes with a lid and it has like a storage down below, which is what I wanted. Um, it was a hundred bucks off and so I bought it. But we have been having so much fun cooking out here. This surface is just like a giant cast iron skillet. So anything that I'm cooking on this, you could make on a skillet inside. I just really wanted a way to cook a lot of bacon outside uh, and not have to deal with like the mess and the smell of doing all that stuff inside. So I'm still working today. I have a couple meetings this afternoon, but I have a break now. So we're just gonna put some bacon and eggs on the griddle and do breakfast for lunch. I'm still getting the hang of the griddle and I will never be able to make pretty eggs, but they turned out perfect. And the good news is we always end up with leftover bacon to do fun things with. And then to finish off my meal, I'm having my favorite dessert, which is a slice of Tillamook cheese. Dinner tonight has been one of my go-tos for this summer, and that's really just like my version of a sandwich. Uh, it's been perfect for weeknights when I'm tired or during the day when I'm working from home and I don't have time to cook a steak or anything for lunch. So I've been using the Egg, Ripe, Egg Life Wrap Everything Bagel Wraps. Put some mayo on it. You can use whatever mayo you're comfortable with. And then I put some deli meat on it tonight. I'm using ham, turkey breast. I love a good roast beef also. I will throw on a couple slices of cheese. And then if I have leftover bacon, I absolutely put the bacon on it. If not, I would maybe throw on a couple of pepperonis. And then to kind of have as a side a little crunch, uh, I will use some pork chips, pork rinds, or some pickle chips. Okay, and there we have it, a super easy summer meal or a quick weekday lunch. Mm. This video is sponsored by Element. I am headed out right now to run some errands with the kids. We might stop at a park, we're gonna be sweating. It's like hot Arizona summers. So I'm gonna throw one of these packets in my water uh, and shake it up. And that's just gonna help replenish any sweat that I have, um, all my electrolytes and just have me feeling better. I started a new job. 
my boss runs triathletes and triathlons, I guess, and all these things. And he uh, saw these in my bag. I was like pouring one in my water at work. And he's like, oh, that's crazy. I love Element. I go through them for races. He's like, why do you have them? Because it's already common knowledge that I don't uh, exercise. And I was like, because I don't eat carbs. When you don't eat carbs, your body needs a way to replenish its natural electrolytes. And so that's what this is. It's perfectly formulated for convenience, for electrolytes. It has sodium, magnesium, potassium, like all in it. So if you are an athlete and you're looking for extra electrolytes, or if you're like me and you don't eat carbs and you just are lazy and you want the convenience of a packet, uh, Element is the perfect way for you to get that. I put like a half a pack sometimes of the chocolate salt in the kids' waters. Uh, and it's a good way just to make sure that they're staying hydrated as we're out running around or when they're playing outside in the heat. Element has an offer for all my subscribers where you can try all eight of their flavors in a free sample pack with any order if you go to drinkelement.com slash laurasfath. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash laurasfath. For lunch today, I'm having another one of my absolute favorite meals, and that is chicken wings. I feel like I eat these on repeat all the time, and I just mix up the seasonings I use, how I cook them. Um, Chris is making some more in the oven. I threw some in the air fryer. I've been running errands with the kids for the last few hours and just really need to eat now. So air fryer wings, 15, 20 minutes at 400. Um, I know when they're done by using a meat thermometer. You could do them straight from frozen. These happen to be thawed. They would obviously take longer if they were frozen. And then I just mix up the seasonings. I use a lot of the brand Hardcore Carnivore seasonings. I use a lot of Spiceology. Today I did their Cajun Black Magic blend. Um, sometimes I'll just do like ranch seasoning. You could do them plain with salt and they're also really delicious. With a little bit of seasoning and the air fryer, they get nice and crispy. I rotated them through halfway. Uh, and yeah, they turned out pretty good. The only thing is, and I can already tell by looking at it and it's skeezing me out, with wings in the air fryer, sometimes they get a bunch of feathers left on them. When I do them on the grill, those feathers burn off. And so the, that's the only downside of doing wings in the air fryer is it doesn't really burn the feathers off, but I have my own solution. And that is a blowtorch. So, I just give them a quick little blast with a blowtorch and make sure there's no random feathers. The worst part about eating chicken wings is that you get all that greasy chicken under your fingernails. So I eat them with rubber gloves. We just had some kind of crazy, massive storm come through. Um, Arizona gets monsoons, which are these like major storms that come out of nowhere. The, this one lasted 15 minutes and it caused some, inc like I've lived here 12 years and it's the craziest damage that I've seen. We had this huge tree in our front yard and completely ripped out by the stump. And yeah, then 10 minutes later, sun is shining. Everything's wonderful. Um, thankfully, it was like completely bro blocking our front door so we couldn't even get into the house. Thankfully, we had some neighbors who had a chainsaw. We actually had never even met these neighbors before, but they were walking by and they had a chainsaw and then they helped us take down the whole tree, drag it out to the yard, and we've spent the last two hours doing that. So, it's been a fun afternoon, unexpected afternoon. Our plan was to do like a big grill thing and I was going to show you guys like another meal. I'm not doing that. We're saving all that till tomorrow. Um, old me would have just ordered pizza and said screw it tonight no matter what diet I was on, but we know I can't do that. So we are gonna get takeout. We're gonna go, out. I think we're gonna go to In-N-Out. Um, Buffalo Wild Wings delivery is one of my go-tos, but we just had wings for lunch. And so I think the other option that I tend to do most often is just In-N-Out burger patties. And so we're gonna go, actually I heard some trees fell on cars like driving on the road and there's trees down all, all around the neighborhood so we're gonna go check out the neighborhood and get some food
in and outs burger patties are two ounces. So all the ones with cheese are two patties with two pieces of cheese, and those are called Flying Dutchman. And then we ordered extra patties that I will then add. So I'll have four patties and two pieces of cheese. We got 30 patties total for the fam. Was it good? You can slow down a little bit, kid. You can slow down. After the chaos of yesterday, I'm very excited for a wonderful grilled meal today. Sundays is the day when we do like the biggest family meal. We're gonna use the griddle today just because I already had all the stuff um, planned for it. Sorry, the kids are playing while I'm getting lunch ready. Um, we're gonna do flat meat. So we typically just tend to buy like whatever steaks or beef is on sale, but this is a good amount that can feed the whole family. And then because those shrimp have been on sale from Sam's Club, um, I just keep buying the $5 off packs. I get the ones with the peel still on it because it's cheaper, um, but they cook better for me on the griddle or the grill if I take the peeling off. So I'll just peel them myself, but it ends up saving me a lot per pound. And then it's Sunday, so you know we gotta do bread cheese. If you're new, it is the best, okay? It's literally just cheese. Sometimes it's called bread cheese. Sometimes um, it's called oven baked cheese. There's brands that you can buy online. I get this at our Kroger chain store. You can buy it at Whole Foods. Aldi's has their own version. This I bought at a local like bakery grocery store. And then you also can order online. I love the brand Gardeners who I, I order that online. Um, so anyway, this is usually a Sunday must. We're doing it a little different today. I'm gonna put a square of it in the, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use all this footage. Uh, I put a square of it in the waffle maker when I'm done with lunch. And that way it's more like a dessert. It keeps us from eating like the entire brick in one sitting, helps portion it out for me. And I just get like one square in the little mini waffle maker and it's like my nice little treat to end my meal. Um, the shrimp. I have been loving some Chipotle garlic barbecue blend from Spice House. Spice House is another spice brand that I use often because it's really clean ingredients um, and just amazing blends. And so I'll use that on the shrimp, makes it a little bit spicy, and then I'll dip it in some sour cream, kind of almost like a fajita style thing. And then to give it a different flavor, we will just use our basic smoked paprika, and adobo on the flat meat um, and then it'll be i could use it you know it'll taste good with the shrimp and not just be everything the same flavoring so there you go that's lunch today yep they'll just peel this body off first okay. there you go once you get the legs detached now you can squeeze it and get the tail now pull the bottom off just shake some of that seasoning with that hand on there and then you're going to mix it up with this hand we are using bavette meat, which is similar to a skirt steak, just like a fajita meat. It has a lot of really good fat on it. It's got these long fibers, so we're gonna cut it against the grain. I'm gonna grill this hot and fast. So however you wanna cook it, hot and fast is the way to go to hopefully try to keep it you know, medium, medium rare, um, but get a good char on the outside, which is why we're gonna use the griddle. Um, so I'm just going to season it up. Okay, here we go. Beef, shrimp, some salt, a little sour cream. I have been taking full advantage of that shrimp being $5 off at Sam's Club and I have been eating this meal on repeat. And that is a wrap on what I am eating for three days. Uh, I will definitely not eat dinner tonight. I tend to just skip dinner usually on Sundays and make sure I get in a solid 24 hour fast. 
Uh, once or twice a month, I'll still do a 48 hour fast. That's just my way of managing weight loss maintenance. I don't want to track calories every day. I don't want to worry about how many portions I'm eating. I can eat one or two meals a day and then throw in a 48 hour fast occasionally just to make sure that I'm not gaining weight and I don't have to worry about fat to protein ratio and tracking calories and I just get to like eat the meat that sounds good. You have to pull a lever sometimes to uh, lose weight. Whatever that lever is for me, it's fasting and that's just what works best. You can eat a lot more simple than I do. We have fun cooking tools. This has really become a full lifestyle for our family. I am in a season of life, pun intended, where I am enjoying seasonings and variety and just, you know, we're turning this into like an experience. I don't want to just eat food for fuel. I want to just really look forward to some delicious meals and have a wonderful time with my family and my husband. And it's still like really fun for me to cook and eat. And, and I enjoy that. And that's part of the reason why carnivore has been um, really successful for me long term. And why I've been able to keep this up is because I just really enjoy it and I'm healthier. Um, so all those things combined, I wouldn't be able to maintain this if I just had to live on, you know, meat, salt and water, though a lot of people do and can be very successful. My goal for all of this is just to continue to live a healthy life within the confounds of what works for me. I know my limits at this point, what I can handle, what I can't. So having some variety of seasonings um, and different kinds of meats has been really fun for me, but yet I know where that hard line is of carbs and sugar that I can't handle. So I hope you're finding what works for you. I hope this video has been beneficial. If you're looking for more content, behind the scenes, community challenges, all those things, you can come find me on Locals. Thank you for being here. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all the things, and I really appreciate all the support.